The Niger is the Party campaign seeks to use artistry and pop culture as a means of mobilizing young millennials to vote and ensure the integrity of the upcoming elections in Nigeria. The campaign was organized by the Election Network, a civic social enterprise that relies on the use of digital media and data-driven journalism to trigger interest around global elections. Um, with the We Are Voting concert, we have managed to reach out to university students to get them to take the pledge to vote next month. Um, according to the statistics from INEC, um, young people make up 51.11% of the voting crew. I mean, in next, in next month's election. So um, they essentially have the power to determine who it is that rules us for the next four years in Nigeria. It has been incredible so far because we have decided to speak the language of the youth by like giving them the flashing lights and the entertainment and you know, like the things that will grab the attention, the party. So the slogan for it is Nigeria is the party. That's the hashtag. Um, We've been able to break into the sort of crowd using Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube to get them and like um, artists that they can respond to, to get them to vote, to get them to take the pledge to vote, that kind of thing. It's music and um, entertainment is very global. So it's not just people here in Abuja who are hearing about it, it's people across Nigeria, do you understand? Like it's people across um, the world as well. So with this hashtag, people from America, people in the diaspora, they can check, they can see, they can be inspired. You know, it's not going to be just like this election 2019. Who knows, maybe a few other people will decide in 2023 to come back and vote because of this movement. With less than a month to the general elections and with over 43 million Nigerian youths registered to vote in the upcoming elections, it is expected that they can affect the outcome of these elections. But what informs the choice of their candidates? Lots of you are still in school and the sad reality is that for a lot of, of you, finding a job is going to be difficult when you get out of school. If we want to begin to turn that situation around in this country, it is extremely important that we vote, and not just vote anyhow. A lot of these politicians think that you are only good for violence and you are only good for causing problems. But if you inform yourself, if you read about the issues, and really take advantage of a lot of the resources that are out there, you can cast a vote that even if it doesn't install whoever you want in power, it can begin to change the political culture of this country. Well, like you said, almost 43 million young people in Nigeria are registered to vote. We need to make sure that they have all collected their voters' cards and that they are well informed and that they vote in the elections that are coming up in the middle of next month and at the very start of March. An average Nigerian youth is not that interested in politics. So how have you guys been able to impact that, I mean, that sense of patriotism into these millennials? I think it's really important to meet young people where they are. The truth of the matter is that young people are showing a lot of interest in voting because they will inherit this country. Whatever opportunities lay within, uh, within Nigeria for them, they are the ones that are going to enjoy those opportunities. Whatever difficulties there are in the country, they are the ones that are going to live with it. So once that is made clear and once you meet people with information that they can readily access and that they, they find useful to them, you know, you'll find people are showing more interest and, um, and voting. Look, you have, we have so many young people here who are, are making this, you know, who are showing up to this event for this particular reason because they are interested in the issues. And, you know, at, at um, one campaign, we've, we've had um, several events around the country, and I have to tell you that the interest among young people is really, really strong. The effect of this campaign is expected to go beyond just the presidential election set for the 16th of February. Chukruma Ikubiri, Arise News.